What if the ocean still remembers the monsters it once held? Creatures so huge they could crush ships with a single bite. Predators older than the dinosaurs themselves. The surface may look calm today, but miles below lies a history of beasts that ruled the seas long before humans ever walked the earth. These aren't myths. These are real, prehistoric sea monsters giants that once dominated the planet. Before we dive in, tell me in the comments where you're watching from. And if you love uncovering the secrets of the deep, subscribe and join our Ocean Explorers crew because what you're about to see will change how you look at the sea forever. Let's begin our descent. Starting with number 10, Helicoprion, the buzzsaw shark. Imagine a shark with a circular saw in its mouth. That's Helicoprion, a bizarre predator that lived about 290 million years ago. Instead of regular rows of teeth, this creature had a spiral-shaped jaw filled with hundreds of sharp blades coiled like a saw blade. Scientists believe it used that buzzsaw to slice through prey possibly crushing shellfish and squid with terrifying precision. It grew up to 25 feet long, about the size of a modern great white shark. For decades, paleontologists had no idea where to place that strange jawsome, thought it was on the snout. Others on the tail, but new 3D scans revealed the truth. It sat right inside the lower jaw, rolling forward as new teeth grew, a creature straight out of a nightmare. And it was very real. Number 9, Dunkleosteus, the armored beast before sharks ruled the seas. There was Dunkleosius, heavily armored fish that lived around. 360 million years ago. It could grow over 33 feet long and weigh almost 4 tons instead of teeth. It had two bony plates that worked like a giant pair of scissors, slicing prey clean in half. Its bite force is estimated at over 8,000 pounds strong enough to crush through armor, bone, or anything unlucky enough to get close. Dunkleosteus was one of the first true apex predators fast, heavily armored, and incredibly powerful. It ruled the Devonian seas like a tank with fins. And when it opened its jaws, entire schools of fish scattered in fear. Even 360 million years later, no fish has ever matched its raw power. Number 8. Lyoployardin, the giant marine reptile. We enter the world of marine reptiles. Lyoployardin was not a dinosaur, it was a pliosaur. One of the ocean's most fearsome hunters of the Jurassic period, it could grow over 40 feet long, with jaws stretching nearly 10 feet. Lined with dagger-like teeth, its bite was so powerful. It could snap a crocodile in half. Lyoploridine hunted everything from ichthyosaurs to other pliosaurs, using its massive flippers to ambush prey from below. Sense of smell was extraordinary, allowing it to track a wounded animal miles away. If you think a killer whale is terrifying, imagine one twice its size with the instincts of a T-Rex. This was the apex predator of the Jurassic Ocean silent, fast and unstoppable. Number 7. Kronosaurus, the sea king of Australian, named after the Greek titan Cronus, who devoured his own children. The Kronosaurus lived up to its myth. It stretched nearly 36 feet long, with a skull almost 10 feet in length, armed with sharp conical teeth. It preyed on turtles, fish, and even other marine reptiles. Its short, muscular neck gave it brutal biting strength, allowing it to grab prey and shake it violently until it was torn apart. Fossil evidence found in Australia and South America suggests that Kronosaurus was fast, agile, and terrifyingly efficient. It didn't just hunt it, dominated everything in its path. If you had been swimming in its territory 100 million years ago, you wouldn't have stood a chance. Number 6. Mosasaurus, the real sea dragon. You might remember this one from Jurassic World, the massive creature that leaped out of the water and devoured a great white shark in one gulp. That was no exaggeration. The Mosasaurus was one of the true sea dragons of prehistory, growing over 56 feet, long and weighing more than 15 tons. It was a marine reptile related to modern snakes and monitor lizards, with double hinged jaws and razor teeth. It could swallow prey whole, including fish, squid, and even other Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus lived near the end of the Cretaceous period and likely ruled the oceans. Just before the asteroid wiped out the dinosaurs, it was fast, strong, and smart a predator so dominant that even other monsters stayed out of its way. It's the closest thing we've ever had to a real life. Dragon dot from the saw-toothed jaws of Helicoprion to the dragon-like might of Mosasaurus. These beasts prove that our oceans were once ruled by creatures more terrifying than any modern shark or whale, but were only halfway there. 
in part two. We'll dive even deeper to uncover five more prehistoric monsters, including one that made the Megalodon look small. So before you go, hit subscribe, tap the bell icon, and tell us below if you could see one of these sea monsters alive today, which one would you choose? Stay tuned for part two, because the real kings of the deep are still waiting below. Number five, Tylosaurus, the underwater. Rocketif Mosasaurus was the dragon, then Tylosaurus was its sleeker. Deadlier cousin, this marine reptile could reach lengths of 50 feet and was one of the fastest hunters in the late Cretaceous Sea. Unlike its bulkier relatives, Tylosaurus had a streamlined body built for speed. It used its long, torpedo-like shape to ambush prey in explosive bursts of motion. Its fossils show it hunted fish, plesiosaurs, and even birds that dared to dive too low. In its stomach, scientists found bones of other reptiles, meaning it even cannibalized its own kind. Tylosaurus was equipped with a long, bony snout, perfect for ramming prey before finishing them off with sharp, curved teeth. Imagine a creature as long as a bus, as fast as a torpedo, and hungry for anything that moved. That was the true terror of the late Cretaceous Seas number 4. Shonasaurus, the giant ichthyosaurus whales, had an ancestor that came from a nightmare. It would be Shonisaurus. This enormous ichthyosaur lived around 210 million years ago and reached over 70 feet in length about the size of a modern blue whale. But unlike whales, Shonosaurus wasn't gentle. It was a predator built for open ocean dominance with a long snout and hundreds of sharp teeth. It hunted squid, fish, and possibly smaller marine reptiles. Its massive eyes, the size of dinner plates, gave it perfect vision in the deep dark waters. It swam, using dolphin-like movements, gracefully slicing through the Triassic Ocean's hundreds of Shawnisaurus. Fossils were discovered in Nevada, once a prehistoric sea, suggesting these creatures might have hunted or even traveled in. Groups dot a pod of 70-foot reptilian hunters. Just imagine that shadow passing beneath your boat. Number 3. Basilosaurus, the ancient whale king. Now, we move forward to a more recognizable predator, but one that still sends chills down your spine. Meet Basilosaurus, a prehistoric whale that lived about 40 million years ago. Despite the name, which means king lizard. It wasn't a reptile, it was an early ancestor of modern whales. But unlike today's whales, Basilosaurus was a killer. It stretched up to 60 feet long and had sharp, serrated teeth made for tearing flesh, not filtering plankton. Fossils show it fed on fish, sharks, and even smaller whales. Basilosaurus had a long, snake-like body and tiny back legs, a reminder of its land-dwelling ancestors. It dominated the Eocene oceans with terrifying efficiency, earning its title as one of the first whale apex predators. And though it looked like a snake and swam like a dragon, it's our distant relative, a glimpse into evolution's violent imagination. Number 2. Lead Sichthys, the giant filter feeder, not every. Prehistoric giant was a hunter, some ruled through sheer size and lead Lidsithes was one of them. This fish, which lived about 165 million years ago, could grow over 60 feet long, making it the largest fish to ever exist. It didn't chase prey. It simply opened its enormous mouth and filtered plankton and small sea creatures through gill rakers, just like today's whale sharks. But while it wasn't a predator, it was a vital part of the ocean ecosystem. Its massive body supported countless smaller species, and its bones have been found across Europe, hinting it swam in vast migrations, even without sharp teeth. Lead Sichthys was a marvel, a peaceful giant in an ocean filled with killers. Proof that in nature, sometimes size alone is enough to rule the seas. Number 1. Megalodon, the ocean's true monster and now, the name that echoes through every ocean legend. Megalodon, the largest and most terrifying shark that ever lived. This apex predator dominated the seas around 23 million years ago, growing up to 60 feet long, possibly more, with teeth the size of a human hand. Its bite force reached over 40,000 pounds, enough to crush a car or snap a whale's spine in a single bite. Megalodon fed on whales, dolphins, and anything else that dared to cross its path. Fossils show it hunted by biting off fins first, immobilizing its prey before the final. Strike it ruled the oceans for millions of years, until a major climate shift cooled the seas and wiped out its food sources, leading to its mysterious disappearance about 3.6 million years ago, but some believe it might not be gone. Unexplained sonar readings 
massive bite marks on submarines, and ancient myths keep its legend alive. Could the Megalodons still be out there, hiding in the uncharted depths of the Mariana Trench? No one can say for sure, but the ocean still has secrets it refuses to share. And there you have it, 10 real prehistoric sea monsters that once ruled. Earth's oceans docked from the saw-toothed Helicopian to the colossal Megalodon. Each creature left behind a story written in bone and stone, and a warning that the sea has always belonged to monsters. If you made it this far, you're officially part of our Deep Sea Explorers crew. Tell me in the comments which creature shocked you the most. And don't forget to subscribe, because our next dive will take you even deeper into the secrets of the ancient ocean. And if you missed our other series on mythical sea creatures, deadliest sea monsters, or the sea before dinosaurs, check them out next. Every part connects the past, the myth, and the mystery. Until then, keep your eyes on the water, because the ocean remembers everything.